Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've got a, another recall here i got to tell you about because it involves pet food. And the thought of my little dog getting sick from salmonella, I don't know what it would do to him. So I'm going to bring this to you. It's from a publication called Thrillist, which I've never heard of. Thrillist. T-H-R-I-L-L-I-S-T dot com. All right. The title is 10 Brands of Dog and Cat Food Recalled Due to Salmonella Concerns. There are many types of dog food that are being recalled. And this is by Dustin Nelson, published on 3-28-2021. Okay. So today is March 29th and it's 5:43. Okay, there have been quite a few pet food recalls since the year turned to 2021. Yet another was issued on March 26th and this one includes a wide variety of brands. Midwestern Pet Foods, the same company that issued a big recall in January Due to aflax, aflatoxin, I think that's a type of mold, if I'm not mistaken, has recalled products from 10 dog and cat food brands due to potential for salmonella contamination. The brands involved include K9X, Earthborn Holistic. Venture, Unrefined, Sport Mix Wholesomes, Propac, Propac Ultimates, Sports Trail, Sport Mix, and Mer Meridian. The full list of recalled bags is very long. The recall is specifically for food products, food produced at the company's Monmouth, Illinois facility. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but that's what it looks like, Monmouth. Though those products were distributed nationwide and to online retailers, you're looking for an M capital M, in the date code on the bag that designates it as having been produced at the facility where salmonella was detected, according to the company's recall, the lot information, lot code information is printed on the back of the bag and looks like this. EXP, that's going to be expiration date, AUG for August, slash, O2, slash, 22, slash, capital M, and a 1, slash, capital L, and a hashtag. So you're looking for expiration date, and then your capital M, and then some more letters and numbers. All right, I'm going to end this here. It goes on to say what's, well, it says pets with salmonella infections may be lethargic and have diarrhea and or bloody diarrhea, fever, and vomiting. Some pets will only have decreased appetite, fever, and abdominal pain. The recall notes. Now, of course, they're not going to be able to come up to you and say, Mama, I got a tummy ache. So you have to kind of put some pressure on it and see if they yank or want to roll back over real quick. Usually when I massage his tummy, he really likes it. So if I just gave it a little harder push, then if it hurt, he would yipe or something. So that's how you check it. All right, so I'm going to end this here to keep it short. And you click on the link, which I'm going to grab right now. Oops, I clicked cut. 
Oh, I shouldn't have done that because I want to go back to it. I'm going to hit paste. All right, now it's back up there. All right, so now I'm going to hit copy. Okay. And put up the video. So I'll, I will just end this here. And with that, I'll say I pray and hope none of your pets are affected by this. And I pray and hope nobody you know is affected by it. But you want, might, might want to tell anybody you know, pass this on to them if they have dogs or cats. All right. Bye for now. Talk to you later.